Oh, shit. What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. Okay, welcome back to the Bomb Show. James, you got anything to say in particular? Um, well, I will say this. To continue my spiel on... Ah! Yep, referring, okay. Referring to changes in the Xbox version. Uh, the Xbox version has a timer, so you actually know when it's going to blow up. Mm -hmm. So I guess that removes a little bit of the tension, but eh, what ifs. Yeah, I prefer it without a timer. Because then it's a more like, oh, oh god. Yep, oh. pretty much, you don't know. You you prefer Majora's Mask on the N64 over the 3DS version. You're one of those old I school retro gamers. I actually like the gamers. 3DS version better because it oh. looks nicer. Yeah. But I, well, mm, <laughs> I don't know. I do like it for the controller, though. I should, more. I should try to, like, not speak unless I know what I'm talking about. You ever have that issue? Uh, you say things that, like... Uh, 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 I know what I'm speaking of. Come on, come on, come on, move. Oh, you, I don't know if you're going to make it, dog. I got this. So, is that all you're going to say? Yep. Sounds cool. like you got something to say. Yeah, as I was talking about like five fucking episodes ago. And oh, then... the pin. We got the pin back. The pin? Yeah, we were like, let's put a pin in it. Now it's back. What? I don't remember that. Maybe that happened though. Yes, I did. More so, I was talking about something and then you shhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhh
Here's like 20 Ooh, things. Bitch. You Ooh. Get out like, the way. Here's like 20 things you could say to people. So, are you from here? What do you like to do in your spare time? Do you follow any sports? What are your interests? What do you like to do on the weekends? How long have you worked at your current job? Do you like what you're doing? What did you go to school for? Could you like there are so many fucking things to get a conversation started. Yeah. And yeah. get people to talk about themselves, right? Mm hmm Like it's really not that hard. Um, Just ask them a question. Yeah, but every time Jen's like, damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh. Ooh. Every time Jen's like, yeah, you're right. I probably should. Uh, I should do that. And then uh, that just <laughs> it never <laughs> it happens. Happen. You know. I'm like, I'm gonna make you a list, okay? And next time you're in an awkward sitch and you don't know what to say, you can just pull out this fucking list and pick something off the list and just talk about it. I I'm sure, like, probably I can't speak for Jen, but I will yeah. say it's probably because like. It's if she were to do it, it's like it wouldn't be her. It, yeah, it, it like it wouldn't feel like she's. It's like she doesn't gener genuinely. Genuinely. <laughs> it's like she doesn't genuinely want to. <laughs> um, she doesn't genuinely want to like really know because like does she? Oh, that did I? Hot. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I, I swallow. I don't spit. Uh, what though? She genuinely what? I don't even know what I'm saying. Does she generally, like, is she interested in, in even having a conversation? Yeah, she is. Okay. Yeah. Huh. Anyways, I don't want to speak for Jen too much. So, <laughs> well, she's not here, so I'm not going to be like, oh, and a side story. We, next episode of Royal Gears, we have Jen in here, and we have an interview with her. Yeah. <laughs> she's at work. Yeah. Um, anyways, side story? Right, side story. Just for one example. Like, Shh. I just, I just, <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so basically this fucking side story is that yeah, I'm gonna yeah, fucking yeah, 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 take the mic yeah, again. I like the my marshmallows. Okay, so, um, yeah, I don't really, I just, maybe it's just like people who have kids, like mm -hmm. uh, parents. I don't know how to interact with parents. To me, there's always been this fucking weird shit with like, for example, I have one example in particular. Really? When I, yeah, when I went to your house when you were still staying with your parents and shit, like I don't know how to speak to your parents. It's weird to me. To talk to other people's parents. Were, so, were we still college students? No, this was like a year ago or something. Right before you moved out. Oh. Your mom came in and I was just like, Hi, how are uh, you? Like, I just make small talk. I just don't... Like, to me, in my brain, even though it's not true, parents to me are still like, uh, Hi, Mr. and Mrs. <laughs> uh, bleep that shit, but... <laughs> <laughs> um, he just said my last name. Yeah, you know what I mean? And it's, it's fucking weird. Yeah, because it's like you're not like at the same. You're you're like not on the same level, for lack of a better word. Yeah. Totally. So it's like hard. Man, this game has a twitchy ass ground, and not in the yeah. N64 version, just here. Uh. Um. Yeah. No, I, I think I get what you're saying. Like sometimes it's because like the thing about being in a different generation from somebody else is like you don't have the same experiences necessarily. Yeah, totally. So it's like, huh? Who do I ask them about? How, what can? What do we have in common? Like I think that's that that can be a social thing in general, but with different True. generations and ages, yeah, dude, I, I I think I get you. I think that's where I struggle socially big time because mm. people are in like, not always though. Like some of my best friends, one of my last managers hit the last. Torchay, 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 torchay. Sorry, go on. Oh, I was like, what? One of my last uh, managers at my old job. Mm -hmm. He's in his like mid thirties, I think. That's like the same age as my older sisters, and uh, we got along swimmingly. Mm. But you know, um. He's not, like, a parent, mm. and maybe, I don't know, man, maybe it's just that thing, I'm like, oh, if people have kids, they can't take a fucking joke about me, like, uh, shitting my guts out, or, like, fucking, you know, some stupid-ass penis joke or some shit like that, or, like, they'll get offended if I say shit-ass twat, you know what I mean? Yeah, uh, okay, so so it's, like, because they're so used to having to filter kids, inappropriate yeah, things in front kids, of their kids. I'm like, ah, oh, shit, maybe that's where it comes from. You know, it's it's funny that you say that. I think I, I... next time on Psychology Goobs. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, no, it's not end episode. It's like I remember. Um, there was a nostalgia critic video where yeah. he reviewed this old Halloween movie, and yeah. he said it's his favorite Halloween movie because of how inappropriate it is. Mm. And there, he's like in his 30s now, and he was watching it with some other guys in their 30s. Yeah. And as they were watching it, they were being put under a spell. Like it's it was a weird story. Wait. And he uh, in real life. No, no, no. It's, I'm confused. It, it's fictional. It's a fictional review where they're pretending. Oh, okay. And there was like a joke where it's like, they were like, this is awesome. And over time, it's like, huh, 
I feel the effects of being an old dad <laughs> hitting me. Wow, that, that monster swore at that five-year-old girl. Wow, that's really inappropriate. Oh my gosh, and all the blood and stuff, that's just not appropriate. And then the spell breaks, and they're like, and it was fucking awesome! <laughs> yeah! Yeah, dude. I think that kind of describes how I feel to a T. Mm. So even though, like, for example, your parents uh, seem super chill and cool. And... Oh, they are. Trust yeah, me. I know. Like, uh... Like, uh, my small interaction with your mom, she seems really funny and has a good sense of humor and stuff. Oh, thanks, dude. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's a compliment to her, not you. <laughs> well, I mean, you're complimenting my mother, and I'm thanking you on her behalf. Okay. Cool. Right, well, also, you're saying my mom's awesome, so I take that as a compliment, I guess. I, I don't sure. fucking know. <laughs> yeah, but, but uh, yeah, man, it's just, I, I don't know. Uh, Many adults that you can yeah, act click totally, with. Yeah, act totally normal with. Talk about, like, cutting off the ass cheeks of babies and that's kids you. with. That's me. That's you. Yeah, no, I, I get you. <laughs> yep. Hmm. So. Okay, then. Anyhow. Mmm. Nom, 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 nom. This time. <laughs> oh. Wait, how, how much? Ooh. 11 minutes in. Hmm. Can we pause during the cutscenes? Yes, we can. Next, Next time on Royal Goobs. Next time on Psychology Goobs, we learn about Elliot's deep-seated ragey past and how he survived a war in his own house. Just kidding, I had a really fucking normal childhood. No trauma. <laughs>